my name is John Walsh with the Logic Group. And while our Logic Tray system software works on a Macintosh or a PC, we can move the computer screen onto an iPad and do all of our digitizing on an iPad and push the buttons on the iPad. It makes it very convenient and easy to use. So I'm going to go ahead and digitize this pattern. First thing that I do is I click the four points button and then I digitize four points around the drawing. This just blows it up on the screen. Um, and then I go in and I'm going to digitize an outline. I tell it an outline. I click the trace start. I'm going to start by doing a line and then I digitize. I've got some the points of my lines. Then here I have a curve. I switch to a curve. And to do a curve, I simply do a series of points around the curve and then it will automatically turn those points into a nice smooth curve. And another line, and another line, and I've done the outline of that piece that quick. Go ahead and click stop. I'm going to go ahead and do the outlines for all of my pieces. I click tree start for the next one. I've got a line from here to here. And then I have a curve. I just click curve on my iPad. Come in here, digitize the points along that curve. Now here I have a curve that makes a sudden turn so I need to tell our software we have a turn point and then digitize the other points on that curve. I have another turn point digitize those points and I have another turn point and with this method it is so fast and easy to digitize my patterns and get them into the computer so that I can save them as a DXF file. So there's that pattern there. I'm done. Let's go ahead and do the next pattern. I just click start and then I've got a line to start it with. I click that point and that point. Now I have a curve. Now I am actually right handed. I'm doing all of this left handed so you guys can see it. Just think if I was using my right hand, how fast I can make it, and how accurate I can make it. I now have a line. I go there. I have another curve. It's very easy to tell where the curves are and uh, where my turn points are. I've got another turn point. And then my last piece on this one. And I'm stopped. I've got that one. I've got another outline here. I just click trace start. I start with the line. This is just a real easy four points. That was easy. Hit stop. And then I've got my last piece here. I click trace start. And I'm going to start with the line. Most, that point there, that point there, that point there that point there then do a curve fit and do those points there click stop and I've done all those pieces now I could do the same thing with the sew lines exactly the same procedure I'm going to skip those because it's exactly the same let's go in and do our grain lines I just click lines grain line let's uh, make it a different color I'm doing everything on my iPad, hopefully. There we go, change the color. And then I click Trace Start. And then I just do two points of the, uh, for the green line. I'm gonna put these in the middle of the thing. Restart my last one, and there's all my uh, green lines. Let's add a couple of points in here. I've got some T notches, so I come in here and click T notches. I click tree start, and I have a T notch. Don't have any there. I have one right here. I just go in there and digitize where those T notches are. I've got one there, and I've got two there. That is all my T-notches. I click stop. 
and I have finished with my pattern. I come in here and I click File. I can save it as a DXF file, a DXF ASTM, DXF AAMA, or a PDF. I'm going to save it as a DX ASTM. I'm going to call this my, um, well, i got to go to my computer screen here for that. I'm going to call this my iPad example. And then I click Save. And it is saved to the DXF file. Uh, it is that easy, that simple, and with the iPad there on the, on the tablet, it makes it very easy to use. My name is John Walsh. If you have any questions about the product, please contact me.